So with iOS 18 beta cycle starting to wind down, they are going to be able to allocate more resources for iOS 18.1, beta 3 going forward, and we should start seeing a much larger focus on those promised features for Apple intelligence. We've yet to see if they are included in this latest beta, which is iOS 18.1 beta 3, or if they will come in a subsequent beta release, 4, 5, whatever else this cycle might entail. Now, Apple has just announced that it's going to officially unveil its next iPhones, the iPhone 16 series, and obviously what comes along with that, the other hardware, the Apple Watch, which is gonna be the 10th anniversary on September 9th, which is only a couple of weeks away, and whatever else they're gonna announce. So, that means iOS 18 should not only be finalized, obviously around that time when the developers get the RC or the release candidate build, but also more of that attention will be going to the next month release in October for iOS 18.1, like we're discussing. Let's go ahead, jump into this and see how it is. Battery life was kind of trashy in iOS 18.1 beta 3. That's one of the main features we're excited to test out with this and see if it has improved in that area. Let's go. As you can see, iOS 18.1 beta 3 just finished installing. We're getting that typical hello splash screen. Let's go ahead and do our typical temperature check and see where we are with this. And you can see right off the bat, again, to nobody's surprise, if you follow the channel, uh, iPhones are still just hor horrible, horrible, horrible with heat management, which is uh, one of the other exciting points of why we are ready for actually the iPhone 16 series that is allegedly going to have better heat management. So let's go ahead and get logged back in. You can see it says software update complete. We'll continue. And let's try to jump around and see what's going on with this beta. As you can see, we are getting a new splash screen for Apple Intelligence. It's telling us the exact same items that were actually present when you signed up for the waitlist. New ways to express yourself, the start of a new era for Siri and built for privacy. We'll continue since we do have it already set up. And this is exciting right off the bat. You can see summarized notification previews are now live in this build. As you guys can read here, it says Apple Intelligence can summarize context in direct messages and groups of notifications, making them more uh, easier to read, basically. Choose which apps use summarization, so you can actually pick and choose what apps you want to use. It looks like by default, every app is currently eligible and selected right off the bat. And yes, we have a ton of apps. We'll go ahead and say continue. And you can see here as well, it is advertising that new Siri, asking you if you want to set this up or set it up later. We obviously already have it set up, so we're going to continue. Telling you to say the you know what hot words or hold in order to get that taken care of. You can also long press like you're seeing here on the bottom edge of the screen to type to Siri. And it looks like we are good. So we'll swipe up to get started. And... This phone is actually getting really hot, just so you guys know right off the bat. I'm going to relock it and see if I have any notifications. I do, but it looks like nothing's prioritized or shown yet from an email outlook item, a text messaging, and a CNN alert. So now that we're in, let's kind of jump around and see if we have any new splash screens. Nothing with camera. Let's jump into music. And we do have a new splash screen for Apple Music. It is now saying browse is called now, or I'm sorry, excuse me, browse is now called new and share play on more devices. We'll go through this. Let's go ahead and swipe out of that. Let's jump into our typical song and dance of the stocks app. No new splash screen there. So, okay, let's go back to basics then. We'll go into general about. And let's see what this iOS version number is. And as you can see here, this is running in eBuild. So we're getting closer to where we need to get to. For those of you unfamiliar, you want to get to the beginning of the alphabet with all of these beta builds. The closer you get to an A, the closer you are to a actual release. So the full build number here is 22B5034E. And obviously it's letting you know it's an early preview. Nothing crazy new here necessarily. I do want to show you, as we have been doing as well, our battery check. 
We have been getting destroyed with these betas of beta 18 and 18.1. Our battery health is now down to 95%, whereas it did start around 100 before these beta cycles back in June. So take that for what you would like, but here is where we're at. Now, having said that, still not bad. I've seen a lot of reports of this being a lot worse. So again, take that for what you'd like. I think 95% a year later almost is pretty good. Let's go ahead and actually go back into settings and look at Apple Intelligence and Siri. And it looks like we don't have much new here in terms of settings. Everything looks to be the same as it was prior. Let's go ahead and activate it and see if it's any smarter yet. How tall is LeBron James? Did he play for the Olympic team? Who else played for the Olympics? Who else played on the Olympic basketball team? Who is Kevin Durant? Who did he play for? So you can see actually it is moving right along. That is not too shabby. I got to say that is pretty impressive from what we've seen. Let's see if we can continue the conversation even after talking to you guys through the camera. How many teams are there in the NBA? And you can see it actually picked up exactly what we wanted. This is much more impressive than what we've seen in the past. Still can't tell if this is new Siri or what it is, but the contextual and conversational awareness definitely seems improved from this alone. Can you open settings, please? That's, that's pretty cool. So I definitely think that is an improvement. Again, very small sample size. The bigger question that we're going to have and isn't going to be resolved until this weekend, obviously, until we get a chance to go a couple days, is how this battery life has been. So like we said, iOS 18.1 Beta 2's battery life was very trashy. Um, you saw the cycle counts of where we're at. We do use this iPhone regularly, and it's been getting tore up, basically. Um, we've had to charge it multiple times a day. It doesn't get us through a full day. Sometimes we've actually had issues getting through our half of the day. But hopefully that'll be improved in this beta build. We're at 90% now. We'll charge it to 100 and start our rundown test and really see how this holds up. One other new feature finally live in beta three is the cleanup tool. So what you're gonna do, it will automatically prompt you when you go into edit tools and click on cleanup to download the actual cleanup tool itself. And when you do it, it will tell you right here once that's complete, what you want to do. You can tap brush or circle what you want to remove. You can pinch to pan and zoom. So we're gonna pinch in on this picture here and go ahead and circle this. And as you see, it automatically does it, and that looks pretty good. So not a bad competitor for Magic Eraser. Let's go ahead and circle this too and see how it does with the pole. Gone. Pretty neat. I'm definitely excited to put this through the paces as well. Beyond that, I'm not quite sure exactly what we'll have new yet. We'll have to do a deeper dive. Looks like no Apple Store new splash screen or anything like that. I'm not anticipating a lot of other new stuff here just yet. I don't think Genmoji is in here. Um, so we'll have to see what is still to come. But for now, if you're a registered developer, it's available, go download it. We're getting closer to the home stretch here. Let us know how the beta has been working for you in the comments below. Thanks for watching guys. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.